Uh, welcome, my name is Dan Grabowski, uh, I'm the general manager of the MBTA, and we are here to celebrate a, a great milestone as we uh, introduce the MBTA's first ever white cages, right here at Airline Station. And, in fact, um, my crack staff has done some research, and uh, we are the first transit agency in the United States to offer unstaffed bike cage anywhere. Uh, there is one staffed bike cage on the West Coast, but this is the first, and it will be the last in the MBTA system from the excitement that I'm already hearing. Uh, this past May, we stood here promoting viable transportation option to the car, cycling to transit. And at that time, we committed to developing a pilot program that would provide our cycling customers the designated location to park their bikes. We have tremendous partnerships with the MBTA with Mass Bike, the Biblical Streets, with the MAPC, with the MBTA Bike Committee, and we decided we were going to take that further step to not only provide our customers with a structure that will more than double the number of bike parking spaces here at Alewhite, but also provide a location that is safe, secure, and sheltered. Uh, on the walk over, I was uh, walking with someone who mentioned sitting on a dry seat on the way uh, home if it's uh, raining that day is going to be a real benefit, so we're very happy about that. Um, and I want to thank everybody who's here with us uh, for their continued support of the MBTA and for the multimodalism that we try to promote to improve the quality of life for all of our customers, and in particular our cyclists today. Um, I also want to say thank you to the MBTA employees who worked so hard on this project. A couple people have noted to stand here just about three and a half or four months ago talk about an idea and to actually have it come to fruition both here in this bike cage and the one across uh, the east of us uh, is a real feat. And I want to thank our folks from the MBTA Operation Support, Operations and Service Planning, System-wide Maintenance, the automated uh, fare collection folks uh, who have really worked so hard around the clock to provide customers with this great improvement. They've done a great job. Please join me in thanking them. when we kicked off our smart card to uh, introduce uh, or reintroduce Charlie uh, from the MBTA to uh, all of our customers. And today uh, we're happy to um, take it a step further with our new bike Charlie card. Uh, so you can see uh, Charlie is also multimodal. If you take a look at the card, he's actually riding a bike. And with this card, with just a tap at the, uh, at the gate behind me, you can gain access to this cage uh, and the other cage, as I mentioned, that's across at the other side of the station. Both cages accommodate up to 150 bicycles each. These cages enhance the parking capacity at Alewife from 200 legal spaces, and I say that because if you can see this great demand of uh, bicycle, bicycles that are chained to every railing and every uh, bench here. We want to try to um, alleviate uh, some of the uh, overcrowding that we've got in terms of bicycles by going from 200 spaces to a total of about 500 spaces. And it's free. Uh, the card is free, and parking at these cages is free. First come, first serve. Uh, customers can get one of the uh, new uh, Bike Charlie cards from the customer service agents or other station personnel here, and we'll also be handing them out at Downtown Crossing's Customer Service Center. And if you want further information, you can go to our website at uh, www.mbta.com. And this is really uh, a great example here at Alewhite of the kind of things that we're trying to do across the MBTA system to boost bike capacity. We've uh, actually increased capacity since 2004 by over 70 percent. Today, 90 percent of MBTA subway and commuter rail stations provide bike parking. With more and more customers that are taking advantage of bike parking, fewer cars on the road, it's less pollution, and a fitter uh, uh, customers, uh, fit, fitter customers also at the MBTA. So it's great for everybody. And our customers have become more creative in their commute, and we need to be more resourceful in assisting them in their commute. Not only are these cages uh, enclosed with security fencing and covered with a canopy, but each cage is also monitored by surveillance cameras. Safety and security is paramount. A lot of folks who like the bike spend a lot of money on their equipment, and they want to make sure that when they get back there at the end of the day, the bike is still here. And with four security cameras in each one of these uh, cages, I can assure you that uh, we're going to see a real decrease in the number of thefts here at Alewhite and throughout the system as we expand this pilot. Um, and to promote, promote a positive experience for our bike, uh, cycling uh, customers, we're using this as an opportunity through our MBTA Transit Police uh, to stress always that you, know, that you can't stress enough 
please always lock your bike. In addition, in addition to the bike cages, we're also announcing a bicycle theft awareness campaign. Uh, we have uh, flyers that the UBT Transit Police and other folks are putting out and handing out to folks. Just to re remind folks of some, in some cases, common sense, in some other cases, uh, some things that we're able to offer to try to boost uh, safety and security of folks who are taking their bikes uh, here. Well, there's a lot of great things happening, and I want to uh, invite some of the folks who have been so supportive and so helpful uh, in making this uh, happen to come forward and say a couple of words. And first, uh, here we are in the great city of Cambridge, and I want to invite Denise Simmons, who is the mayor of Cambridge. Uh, it's an honor to have us, her uh, with us today, and, uh, and we're very much looking forward as we work together to expand transit-related issues uh, here in Cambridge and surrounding communities. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Simmons.
it really builds community. It's healthier, it's cleaner. And as we know, the more people that are cycling, the more it inspires us all to get on our bikes, and this makes it really safe for a safer community for all of us. So before I leave, I just want to say thank you to the Bicycle Committee for the work that it does in Cambridge for promoting cycling. Thank the MBTA for this wonderful job. Thank you all for being here, and I hope you don't leave without your cards. Good morning, and thank you.